culture of gun violence in the city of Mobile with young black men is high damn time we did something about it. I said it. So no one has to be called a racist anymore. Our homicides, 19, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 11, and four years old were all black children. When are we as a city going to wake up and say, let's address this issue? Well, that's Mobile Police Spokesman Sergeant John Young emotionally addressing what he believes is the root of violence in Mobile after another teen murder. A 14-year-old girl shot and killed on Michael Donald Avenue late last night. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby is live at MPD headquarters now. And Brenda, police have already arrested two teens in this latest murder. Yeah, that's right, uh, Byron and Shelby, and we're going to be hearing from Mobile's top public safety officials uh, pretty soon. But yes, two people uh, arrested and charged with capital murder, 18-year-old Lamonia Forrest and a 16-year-old who was not named because of his age. Police say 14-year-old Ciara Jackson was in a car on Michael Donald Avenue Tuesday night when two gunmen unleashed a torrent of bullets. Assistant District Attorney Lewis Walker tells me both defendants were on the street and fired into the car. Mobile Police Sergeant John Young fighting back tears. It breaks our heart. There are men and women over off camera that have shed tears, that are heartbroken just like I am, that are saying that, that we're saying when is enough enough. As police led Forrest to a patrol vehicle to take him to jail, he denied trying to hit Jackson. I didn't do it. It was evident. In addition to capital murder, Forrest and the 16-year-old both are charged with shooting into an occupied vehicle. The arrest comes a day after police arrested Cameron Walker in the shooting death of an 11-year-old. Sergeant Young offered few details about this latest homicide, such as what types of guns were used or how many shots were fired. He says he wants the focus for now to be on yet another innocent victim. Them. Sierra's 14. She died on the street named after Michael Donald, who was the last known lynching by the Ku Klux Klan in 1980. Forty years later, more innocent blood is shed on that street that's supposed to memorialize the death, sacrificed. And a black girl is gunned down on that street by a black man. It's disgusting. I've said it. A woman who lives on Michael Donald Avenue says she was in bed when she heard the shots. And when we was in the room, we just heard a bunch of shots, like 20 shots, and we got on the ground. The woman says she made sure her grandchildren were okay and then peeked outside. She says the car the victim was riding in had collided with her daughter's black Elantra. The victim was still in the car. Well, I seen it on the passenger side because the police had me go get her a towel. She was bleeding real bad. The daughter's car hit with at least six bullets. Both defendants will face bond hearings on Friday. Forrest faces, faces a possible death penalty, although prosecutors haven't decided whether or not they will seek the death penalty. The 16-year-old has a maximum sentence of life in prison without parole if convicted. Reporting live from Mobile Police Headquarters, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.